Elon Musk has always, um, you know, both raised caution and and sort of pushed uh, the, the boundaries of AI forward um, in his work. So so he's, you know, spoken out a, a number of times about how we should be careful. You know, he, he even said that he could potentially launch a chat GPT competitor at some point. Uh, so I, I guess I'm, I'm not surprised to hear the concerns, but, um, I, you know, in this case, again, I think he's, for Tesla in particular, the opportunity is really in robo-taxi. And we're actually seeing early signs that autonomous driving is already safer than humans. So at Tesla's Investor Day, you know, they released the accident rate per million miles driven in the full self-driving beta software for the first time. Um, if you adjust that rate for uh, city streets, because up until the most recent release, that's really where um, the FSD beta software worked, is on, on city streets. It would suggest that um, a Tesla in FSD is roughly five times safer than a Tesla driven by a human. Um, so again, I, I think this is a company that has the both the data set and the capability to prove to regulators that this technology is safer. Now, will it be regulated? Yes, um, but I think that cities and regulators should all be on board um, for this technology because we, th we think it'll be 80% safer than a human. Um, and again, we're already mm -hmm. seeing the early signs of that with the assisted driving technologies. Mm. When do you think the market would realize the value in all of this, uh, Tasha? So, I, I mean, I think over the next five years, um, you know, we should actually be publishing an updated Tesla price target very soon. Um, but if you look at our, our 2026 forecast, it would suggest that Tesla's price could top, you know, $1,000 per share um, by 2026. So that's up from roughly 200 today. Uh, so again, I think, you know, autonomous driving as a whole could be a, a multi-trillion dollar opportunity over the next five years. Um, so even, you know, getting a, a small share of that market would be extremely meaningful um, for a player like Tesla. And, and we really see them as, as in the lead here. Do you think that they can capture the mass market as well uh, with their price points, uh, with the autonomous uh, products that they roll out? And also, just a quick take on the backlash that this whole AI drive is, is seeing right now. I, I'm so glad you asked about price points because that's actually the most exciting piece of this technology. The reason that autonomous driving will be so innovative is because it's lowering the price per mile uh, to get around. So right now, on average, uh, the cost to drive a personal car in the U.S. is about 70 cents per mile. Uh, we think the price of an autonomous taxi um, at scale could be as low as 25 cents per mile, although there'll, there'll be support for higher price points. Um, so that would suggest that all over the globe, including places like China, where ride hail is already um, pretty inexpensive, autonomous travel should be cheaper. It should open the market to people who are not in the ride hail space today, to consumers that are not in the ride hail space today. Um, and it'll completely change how we get around, how we receive our goods. So it'll change everything. Um, so, you know, again, I, I think... There, there's always going to be a uh, worry and concern over AI. Um, mm. In the case of autonomous driving, I, I really think that that price will be the major determinant of demand. And again, we're, we're already seeing that this technology um, is safer. It's not perfect, uh, but I think it'll be safer than mm. a human. There'll be, there will still be crashes, but I think there'll be fewer accidents than we see today.